Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again today. I've been playing around with Rebel 3 again. I've got a lot more familiar with the tools and I've produced this little watercolour uh, of a plant sitting in our kitchen window because with the coronavirus, nobody going out, I'm looking for things to paint around the house. So I'm in um, Rebel 3, I've selected a really nice paper that is um, a sort of a handmade paper. This is one of the papers that came with the uh, kit I bought from, or the package I bought, I should say, from uh, Humble Bundle. Uh, and it's really nice. I used to, when I was doing watercolours, I used to, um, that's not right, that's not right, is it? I used to work on paper like this all the time, but it'd be full imperial sheets, so it would be really big. Let's try and get these. Uh, it'd be a big painting, and I would cut it into four or half, and sometimes I would do the full imperial sheet, which would be uh, really, really nice to work on so I've got the 2B pencil uh, that kind of worked really nice for me I, I sort of give it a little try out and it was definitely it felt the most natural for this sketch I'm not going to go crazy with the sketching we're all on lockdown um, can't go out anywhere really so that's why I'm doing this nice little uh, painting of a, a flower sat on the, the kitchen sill. And I'm just going to enjoy it. I've played around with the tools a lot. Uh, well, I say a lot, about 20 minutes. So I've kind of um, got to grips a lot better now with... Uh, what does what and now I can wet the page and see the water and uh, I was previous paintings although it was it, what I did worked um, there's more visual tools that you can use where you can where I was sort of wetting the paper it was you couldn't actually see what you'd wet I've now worked out how to uh, how to solve that problem And a uh, flower in here, or a leaf in here. So just sort of, I don't want a lot of detail in these leaves. It is a watercolour when all said and done. And I'm not, um, I'm not all about detail, as you know. But a little bit, maybe. This picture I took is helping out because I've got a shallow depth of field on the camera. So I can see some detail and some of it's blurry so i can make use of that i suppose i'm going to change the var the actual vase a little bit perhaps i like the way the blinds made this sort of pattern across all of the shapes you, you can see where i'm going with this there's going to be lots of loose painting And like always, I am not going to draw every petal in. That would be madness. Yeah, I think with, with this virus thing going off and everybody being stuck indoors, I think, you know, if we use it, I'm certainly seeing it as an opportunity to try new things and you know we can all we can all look on the the downside all the time and get depressed that we can't go outside but i'm trying to be positive and um i've said to special k you know because she's she's an hairdresser and she's shut her business so she's got no income coming in or anything 
she's really worried because uh, she doesn't want to give anybody the virus. She's got an elderly, elderly mother. So I says, okay, you know, we're not working. Um, we can do we can do lots of things that we wanted to do. Uh, let, let's just make the most of it. And um, I'm not so sure if having fun is the right phrase, but you know, just just be try and be positive about things and. And have a go at new stuff. So I'm sort of, um, we're in a couple of ukulele groups. So I said we should do some recording and post it on the Facebook page of the of the group, so people can sort of have a sing along with them. That would be quite good fun, something for us to do. And we're both sort of getting into photography, so we could we could sort of do some more of that. And yeah mess about with the art and things and i think you know we could use digital easel uh, the facebook if you don't know about that the facebook group uh join that and and do your posts uh of, of painting post a painting a day or every couple of days I take lots of advantage of being able to paint more that you probably want to be able to do do and i know it's not like um it's not really the answer because if you're struggling for money and things um that's not cool i'm going to lock this sketch layer i don't want to draw on it so that's my rough sketch done quite happy with that uh, but as i was saying you know if you remain positive um i don't think that's a bad thing right i've discovered that um, if I choose uh, this icon over to the right here, this I, I can see what's wet on my paper and I can choose this um, water droplet and I can paint and make my brush size bigger and I can sort of, it looks alarming because you're thinking, oh my God, what are you doing, man? I'm just wetting, wetting the canvas. So this is, you know, something I could do. Uh, on a traditional watercolor, I might go in there and wet that to get some initial colors on. It does look a bit weird, I have to say. So that's all nice and wet. I go back to my brush and I can still see the wet, but I'm gonna just switch it off now. So if I now start picking up a kind of a buff color for this background and start painting in there. It appears I put too much water on perhaps. Or nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? Created in. Oh, that is right. Layer. Why have I got no paint? Loading paint. Mop. Oh, I've been playing around with these brushes as well. Um, they sort of add water and uh, more paint. So I need to be on that one. That's it. I thought I knew what I was doing. I clearly don't. Now I paint and these should just diffuse. I wonder if we've still got that water on there yet. And that should diffuse into the water. Let's have more water because I took a lot of water out of the brush. Is that going to flow? Maybe take some of the water out of there just to paint in there so it keeps some of that. we go I 
And now I'm going to go in for some red. Do brighter than that. I want pretty much pure red, perhaps. When you're doing water, watercolor, you, you go from the lightest color to the darkest. So this is going to get built up over time. That should sort of flow. There we go. Um, th this is really, I mean, you don't know what you get till the water stops flowing. And it is just like real watercolor, really. I don't like that, that actual stroke. That's... So, I suppose I can um, take the water down and just keep building that up. Maybe it won't flow quite so much. Or I could dry. Could dry the paper, but I don't want to yet. I want to add some of these. These strokes. I'll, I'll leave that, I think. Let's get some green in. Oh, yeah, that green, I think. Start with. Got my mop brush, make it a bit bigger. I still want this all to sort of flow and blur. Change the colour a little bit. I'm liking this, let's go for a sort of a terracotta colour. Actually, I've done the light the wrong side. Let's get it right. That's better. Maybe a blue. Let's try and create the table. Let that flow into it a bit. It's always good. I think I can now just take the eraser. Uh, I'll use this brush. Use it rather than an eraser and just lift out some highlights in those uh, stems. Is there anything else I can lift out before I move on to the next layer? Maybe a few little flakes just there. So imagine if this was a watercolour, you would, well, it is a watercolour, it's a digital watercolour, but if it was conventional, you would be sort of wetting that with just clean water on your brush and then dabbing it with a tissue to get that effect. I think that's, that's enough there for that. Let's create a new layer. Maybe lock that one first. Because I, I have, I found I've, I've had an habit of um, painting over an existing layer. So I'm, I'm now going into some darks. So I'm going to pick up a dark green. Let's go with a linear brush now. Oh, I'm still on the razor. Just wondering why that wasn't. Uh... I want to just zoom in on that a little bit. It's a bit. 
think I've got a bit too much um, paint. I'll press it down a little bit as well. That looks kind of more realistic. Because I can always go over it again and add some, uh, add some more. Dark. When I say more, I mean I'm, I mean dark colour. I'm being a bit fussy for me. Right, there we are. Now, what, what the filbert will do, make it a bit bigger. Don't know. Might be a bit soft. Yeah. Oh, I don't know though. This might be all right. I want that that um that green to sort of flow in to the red. Not bleeding together. I can use this tool actually, the blender. Just to make that happen. Yeah, I didn't want that osh top to those. I wanted them to be a bit more diffused. So that's the blender tool. I can also just use it to just make that a little bit less obvious. Don't want them white, that's just something them off a bit. That's it. That looks more watercolour like. Let's get some uh, dark colour, or green, bigger brush. Should have got some water on there. And I kind of want these to do what they're doing just all sort of merge together a few odd edges is nice right we've got this sort of going off there There, like that. You can be quite rough with this paint and then it just flows. That's really quite nice. Like that, look. Right, that's. Uh, Oops. 
So what I'm doing now, I'm just sort of painting shadows. they just do flow together really quite nicely i'm not feeling this stripey thing i did i'm gonna have to get rid of that i think i think that was a mistake i know it's on on the uh photo but i don't know it's not working for me You can be quite quite sloppy with this and then it will just flow and find its own level. It's really nice. Right, this one needs to be, you know what? I need to vary up the color a bit, I think. Let's put some blue in there. So I can just dab that in, look, and it, cause that's wet, it'll flow into it. Just adds a little bit of interest. And take my blending brush, put the pressure right up to full and see if I can... Oh, that's on... Is that on a different layer? No, it's on this layer. Oh, I don't know. No, let's just take the eraser. Let's just get rid of it. I'll paint something else back in. I think when I erase that, it erases the water as well. Yeah, look. So it's keeping that dry. That's better. That is better. Now I can um, take my filbert again. If I do that, we should get the odd edge on the bottom of those stems because I used the eraser to lift out the water. Could sort of put a little shape in there that looks like a leaf on there too and it will diffuse and get all nice and soft and blue that's better that's better a bit of blue up there as well i think that brush really small and just Put that into it like that. That's coming on. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. 
Uh, shall we paint some flowers? I think it's time to dick to get some flowers in. Sticking with me, Filbert, I quite like that. And if we look, I'm just wondering if I should create a new layer. Let's create another new layer. Let's lock this one. I'm locking as I'm going. Create a new layer. Because I want it to be quite dry. So I get the shapes of some of these petals in. Like that, you see? Yeah, I like it. I like it. So I'm going to go into this layer below actually, uh, unlock it. Is that the one? Or is it this one? It might be this one. Uh, unlock that. I'm going to use turn the brush into an eraser again and just lift out. couple of petals like that so lock it again back to layer four got the red got the filbert take the eraser off everything good and put Petal behind that. Sort of make that stand out a little bit. Cool. And what I'm going to do now, pick up, change that to blue. And just drop a little bit of blue. In there. To me, that just gives it that real soft watercolour, watercolour look. Yeah, we're getting there. Very, very nice. I'm liking it. should really do this for it. I think if I do that all blue it's gonna I'm gonna find it tricky to deal with Let's sort of sculpt out some petals like that. That's cool. Now I could go back to my blue. Just drop that in there. Get this nice dark colour. Maybe even a bit dark, a bit greyer perhaps. Maybe a bit too vibrant.
I'm going to go to the liner brush now. Because I, I want to start putting in just a little bit of detail, not, you know, not crazy amounts. Just going to zoom in so you can see what's happening. As I paint these, see how the paint flows? That's great. Might just take the water down a little bit. Is that going to flow? It's not, is it? So if I choose water, make the brush small, just paint that side of it. I wonder if it will flow then. Let's see. I don't think it will, but if I paint into it, it should go then. There. Because I wanted an odd, odd edge at the bottom, odd edge at the bottom, and a softer one at the top. There we go. And I guess I'm going to go back to red. Let's bring it more down to the uh, a bit warmer. Well, a bit cooler actually, I mean. Get some bit more water in that. Oh, I do want it to flow a bit more. Use my little blender. So the, this app does have a combination of tools that which are really organic, where you don't know what you're going to get, and then you can take control back with these traditional digital tools like this blending tool there. This is a lot of fun. What a great app. Oops, let's move that across. Let's change this back to the blue colour. Well, uh, cool that that's flowing in there that's uh, exactly what I wanted honestly Put the shadow underneath that a little bit so this, I mean, this looks like a really fast, well, it is a fast painting, really, but, you know, I've uh, taken my time and thought through a lot of things. It's gone a bit more towards the purple. There we go. It's just so water, just so much like real watercolor. It's amazing. I will be doing. I, I, I want to thank everybody 
that posted uh, on the first video saying, I want to see more, I want to see more of the uh, Rebel. been waiting for you to do this one, Steve. Uh, it's really inspired me to do a, a lot more. Although, to be honest, I don't need a lot of inspiration because I'm just I'm blown away by it anyway. And I, I would be doing more. This is going to be one of my uh, main apps, I think, moving forward. I think um, the way I'm going, it's going to be, we're going to see uh, still lots of our rage, um, lots of critter. Uh, the free app, I'm just blown away with how good that is. And, um, yeah, we need we need to see more Critter. And obviously, um, Teosui Sketches, I know that's not my most popular uh, series, but I just like, I like doing it. And it probably costs... The, the channel you know it, it might be a negative effect on the channel but i'm not doing this to you know get millions of hits and all of that kind of thing I, that's not what i'm about i'm just about I just like painting and and sharing what i'm doing so i've got to i've got to do use the apps that i enjoy otherwise i know what will happen i'll just get burnt out and um not want to paint but um at the moment, I'm just loving every minute of it. I think this is okay. If I if I uh, turn this into an eraser, make it quite small. Can I lift? Sort of. Oh, I know what I did. Let's try a pencil. 2B as an eraser. And I might need to go on a layer bit that I don't know. I just wanted to see if I could sort of put a little bit of detail in. Just sort of drawing a, a few of these. Um... Now I might give up on that. I like this. I like the softness of it. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm still experimenting. Uh, let's go back to the filbert. Some water on there. Take the eraser off. I'm getting used to the mistakes I make now. We're sort of forgetting to switch things off. Oh, it's okay, I think. Just for the uh, finishing touches, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to move that new layer to the bottom of the stack, not under layer one, but uh, under where I've got all the color in. Layer one's a sketch. Under that, I've got a, a nice sort of lemon, limey color selected. I've got my mop brush selected and I'm just going to paint in the stalks so we're just a bit too too stark as white like that and I'm going to try and use a pencil 2b maybe 5b actually 
and just might regret this. Oh, I need a new layer. Put it at the top of the stack. Yeah, I just want to um, work in a little bit of detail. I don't know if this is going to be like the worst thing I can do. If I don't like it, I can always get rid. Just like that. Is that going to work? Just take up. Maybe just round the edges. I think maybe I could. I don't know. Let's just try. Hmm. No. Mm. Does that look alright? I can't make my mind up. It looks odd, doesn't it? Because of the rest of the painting, I am going to lose that layer. Just thought I'd give it a try. Anyway, that's it. That is my final painting. Um, locked inside taking a photo of an object that we've got sitting around the house and um, making the most of everything don't forget have a go yourselves try try something that you can paint that's sitting around the house get it posted on digital easel if you haven't been there before it's a private group everybody's dead friendly I'd love to see your paintings and um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up much appreciated if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and i will see you all in the next one take care everybody bye <laughs>